Never let a woman's tears move you. I don't care who the woman is. You got to start working on that in your life when you're young. Never, never a woman's tears move you. Those tears don't mean nothing. Tell y'all how hard it is because I love so hard. And I love harder and harder and harder every time. And this one hurts the most. Because I really thought that I was going to marry this man. <laughs> And I get it, he's young. Why would you think that, you know, like? Now, here's a woman. Messed with a 19-year-old rapper. Thought this guy was finna marry her. He just getting to the money. Just getting to be famous and rich. What makes her think that? Now, I want you to think about something, too. When a woman says she loves hard and thought this one was the one, ain't no telling how many men that woman is connected to. There are men out here in the world who have a piece of that woman. She can never give you enough of her. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere. The only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. So I've been married to my wife for 21 years. Mm -hmm. We've been together for 25 years. Okay. Let's talk about let, let, let's talk about the length of that. He's been married to his wife for 21 years. They've been together for 25 years. 25 years. Let's listen to what she did. Okay. Um, she. Uh, took 17 grand out of my account to give to her brother Ooh. without letting me know. Ooh. Is it a joint account or your account? It's a joint account. All right, so she took 17K money. from our account Correct. is what you should say. Not your our account. Now, now, I want you to think about that. Here's this man with $17,000, more than $17,000. She took $17,000. Here's a man with all of these G's in his bank account. But because he's married, it's a joint bank account. And everything that's his is hers. So now, when he tells people this, it's a joint bank account, even though it's all his money, he has to say, our account. Why? Because he was dumb enough to legally marry a woman. I'm not saying don't have a woman. I'm not saying don't have a woman in the wifey position. I'm not saying if you have a woman in the wifey position that you don't have to be in the husband position. You do. But what we're talking about is making it legal. He's legally bound to let this woman claim half of everything he has. So it's a, so she really, really took $17,000 out of her own account. Let's keep going. But she didn't let me know until I found out. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, how disrespectful is it for a woman to go to the bank and get seventeen thousand dollars out, and you don't even know it? Now, see, it wouldn't happen to me because I'm I'm on top of my shit. You you you, if something come out of my account, I know it came out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna take me till I find out. I'm gonna know within three hours that it came out. A a withdrawal like that, the bank gonna alert me. Has anything like this ever happened before? Negative. Negative. Okay. And it never happened before. So uh, I'm a little disappointed. And then it's only when I found out. She didn't tell me about it. Mm -hmm. And then when she told me, she told me uh, uh, for her brother. And I'm like, 17K? Really? Yeah. Ooh. That man, woman paying somebody, man. She breaking bread with somebody. Somebody breaking her back and she breaking bread. Ain't no woman got no $17,000 out of your account for her brother just out the blue. That might be some cat she been talking to in jail. Cause they do sound like a, you hear how soft spoken he is and all that, man. He sound like a, let me sound like a simp. He sound like all these years of marriage have softened him. Like he's gotten so soft that look how he talk. And she just took, and I'm so disappointed. I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd be mad as hell. I wouldn't be disappointed. But, Here's a woman. She probably done met some cat who was in prison. You know, you got that prison game. A woman in the square world 
don't understand how effective prison game is. So he dropping that prison game on her, man. He probably done came to the crib, told her he need this amount of money to do this thing with. She done told him everything this, her simp husband got. So he like, well, he ain't going to miss seven. Give me 17000 And let me tell you something. When you in a woman's brain like that, She's not thinking about the consequences. She's thinking about what she can do to please you. Just like I just said, a woman who's into you is only thinking about what she can do to please you and trying to avoid everything that she could possibly do to run you off. So she hit this man bag, man, and $17,000 for another man. Because if it was her brother, a woman's going to share that with you. If it's never happened before, a woman's going to say, hey, my brother need blah, blah, blah. And I was going to blah, blah. She's going to run it by you. This dude right here. And here's the problem with it. When you marry a woman, she ain't got to think about what you're going to say about your money. Because it's her money. You put all this money in a joint account so she can get 17 bands out of it. Bruh, that woman is telling this man she got money. I ain't no telling her how much money she been sending away you behind the wall. He might still be behind the wall. Because I'm going to be honest with you, in some places, man, that sounds like the cost of a brick. He probably get a brick. He probably get a brick on the low from a plug. If he plugged in, right, he can get a brick on the low for that. That sounds like brick money right there. 17? Come on, man. Depending on where he at, man, he, he can he can grab something of 17, depending on where he at. This is a bad case, bro. You didn't discuss this beforehand? I agree with you, Damien, but what you need to do is have this conversation with her, okay? And he instead, let her talk. Instead of telling her that it's wrong and, you know, don't say this is my money that I work hard for. You do an office job. I do manual labor. That doesn't matter. Man, what, see, this is what I'm saying. Why in the hell would any man listen to a woman who ain't got no man about how he's supposed to deal with a woman? You notice, I don't give you men any dating advice at all. No dating advice. I tell you what you shouldn't and should accept as a man. You apply that to your life however you want to. You apply it to your relationship, your business world, everything. You apply it to every facet of life. But I tell you many the things you should and shouldn't accept as a man. The things that should make you, the, the things that should, that you should, that should make you feel feminine. The things that should make you feel like less than a man and to avoid those things. Here's a woman who ain't never had a husband. Can't keep a man. Might not have a man now. You know, you guys are both contributing to the household fund. What made her feel like she could do this without consulting with you? Maybe she felt like if she asked you, you would say no. I don't know what her reason is, right? But she just needs to know how it made you feel and why it made you feel that way. And that it breaks a, a trust that you might have had in her knowing that she would do something like this now because she's never done anything like this before. Okay, I get that. I you know, that. so you need to approach it like, look, I love you. We haven't had any issues. You've never. Why in the hell would you approach a woman who done stole $17,000 from you and gave it to God knows who? Tell me, I love you. You see how no matter what a woman does, she believes that you're supposed to lead with emotion? She didn't say, I love you, but I'm finna give this nigga $17,000. She ain't say nothing. She ain't say, I hate you, and I'm finna give this dude $17,000. Man, I don't want it. Man, me too, Flim. That's why, man, I don't, I'm a boy. I don't want to hear nothing no woman say. A woman can't tell me nothing about nothing unless we talk about her profession. And then the only reason I care about that is if I'm going to try to turn it into some type of business or something. Done anything like this before. Let's have an honest conversation on why you felt like this would be appropriate. And then I will let you know how this made me feel. But I would love to hear what your explanation is. So we can discuss this and move forward knowing that we can't do things like this because we have a bond and we have a trust that we can't break. All right, look at here. Brother, if you listening to Dr. BOA tonight, if that's you that called up to that show, forget all that crap that bro said. She ain't got no man, ain't had no man, can't keep no man. And she at her age, still around here doing a whole bunch of thought talk on her show. Let me tell you what you do. You tell that woman she better go get your damn money or this whole thing finna be over. You want your 17 bands right now. Tell her to go get it. Give it back. Then ask you about it. Then maybe she can get it out. But she better go get your damn money right now. That's what you need to tell her. She took it without, she took it without your knowledge. She stole from you. 
If a woman steals from you, no matter the amount, she hates your guts. She doesn't have any respect for you at all. Now, this 17 band might not have set him back. But it's the principle. How you going to go and take my money and take it and give it to God knows who? And I can guarantee you, I'll bet 17 bands that she didn't get his money to her brother. But these are the types of things that you deal with. When you put yourself in a legal marriage, you give a woman too much access to shit that she don't understand. You give a, a woman too much control over things that she doesn't know how to control. You give a woman too much input into things that she don't know enough about to have in there, positive input. You give a woman too much power and a woman don't know what to do with power. Only thing a woman know to do with power is abuse it. She don't know nothing else to do with power. value your woman at all a woman does have value but you can't overvalue her and convince yourself that she brings more value to your life than you bring to hers